In the earlier video, we saw how Revelation 6 and 9 is foretelling of the times we live in now. The people of God need to remember that the battle belongs to the Lord. We have nothing to fear. Trust the Lord and he will see us through this attack of the wicked. Revelation 6 verse 1 I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels, having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and then it had gotten victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, standing on a sea of glass, having harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Lord God Almighty, just and true thy ways, thou King of saints. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host have he cast into the sea. No, the vaccine is not the mark of the beast. These are the last days. It's time to understand the true mark of the beast and how taking the vaccine is trusting man and not God. This equates to sin, and sin is the mark of the beast. Be not deceived. Let go of the mark now. Let go of all sin. If you have taken the vaccine, turn to God and repent of trusting man instead of God. It's not too late. All things are possible through Christ who will straighten us. Scripture says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a strong mind. Let the carnal mind of wicked bright the beast that is man, that is godless man. You, brothers and sisters, set your mind in the bold above, where scripture says the moth and rust doesn't corrupt, and the thief don't break through and steal. It's the last days for the wicked, but not for us.